What's up guys, this is Bam Bam Magam and I'm here with the companions and I'm not really gonna show this like all the pre quests and shit because it's boring. But I just thought I'd show you something that you maybe didn't know. Um there is a Diadra heart right here on the plate. And if you hold your pick up button, uh in my case it's E and just move it to well, like over here. Make sure no one sees you, then you can steal it without any problems. And move. And uh, yeah, that my, that's my quick tip. And while we're at it, I guess I'll show you another short tip. And I'll see you at the merchant. Okay, we're back. And we're in Arcadius, I guess she's called. Yeah, Arcadius Cauldron. And I'm gonna show you a quick tips a tip which you could use when you're selling or buying. So in my case, I want to make some healing potions, and then I just buy the blister wolf. Uh, I'll buy the blue mountain flower and some wheat, and then I'll just quick save. I'll hit it once, and then quick load. And what that does is that it restocks her supplies for some damn reason. So then I could just buy more. And yeah, it restocks everything, all her um all her um mer uh, merchandise, all her wares, and also all her gold, so you don't have to run around to different merchants. Um this could be considered a glitch, I guess it is a glitch, but in my opinion um, it just uh, saves you time uh, and this uh, you could I mean you could run around to all the merchants and sell uh, to sell your crap or you could do this, which saves a lot of time and I don't consider gaming to be time consuming it's supposed to be fun, so I want to spend the least time talking to merchants since I don't think it's fun. If you think it's fun to run around, then sure go ahead. Uh, but uh, uh, yeah, if you don't feel guilty for explo exploiting guilt, uh, exploiting uh, 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 bugs and glitches, then uh, yeah, you could go ahead and use this. So uh, for this episode, I guess we will do this. Uh, maybe this quest, or possibly we'll start with the companions. Quests. Um, I'm not sure, uh, but uh, yeah, I'll decide in a second. So I'll see you when I have decided what to do. So we're back here, and we are at Serpent Bluff Read Readout, and we're doing the companion quests. And I've spent the night thinking about what to do. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I've spent my dinner eating pizza thinking about what to do and I decided that we would go for mainly the main quest mainly the main quest <laughs> and uh, because uh, that's what I enjoy watching when I go to YouTube and so yeah that's what we're going to do and we're gonna first of all level up and let's pick stamina because I do enjoy stamina and then we'll go for block and I think we'll go for this one quick reflex it's nice to have makes everything a lot easier <coughs> and then I want to show you another tip uh, if you have a companion and you're trying to be an enchanter this is something you might consider to do uh, use a weapon with uh, the soul, uh, soul trap enchantment and give your companion empty soul gems and when he uses the bow it will fill the soul gems um, so yeah simple as that um, so we'll just begin here and we'll see what kind of resistance we face so I'm not sure if that guy sees me maybe possibly no so 
I'm not sure what I'm hitting here. Okay, so now the scene is uh, we'll just move in. I have a feeling there's quite a lot of mobs here. Okay, there we go. Mm. Not too hard. And I'm out of magic. Um, I can't wait. That's what I'm. Why I'm. Why I have to heal. So usually I just wait, and yeah, it's much easier. But sometimes you have to do some things different. So let's see if there's someone here. Yes, there is. And it's a shaman, so it's a magic user. And he went down rather quick. I'm surprised. Uh, there we go, another guy. Bash him. And totally missing with the power attack. And there, there you see what the slow motion thing does. Uh, every time they do a quick attack, uh, I mean power attack, uh, time slows down and it's much easier to see and to know when you're supposed to bash and stuff like that. So we're gonna restore some health like that. Yeah, you see, but unfortunately I don't have any stamina, so we'll have to work with what we have. Let's see if we can do some poison damage to him. There we go. <coughs> no problem. Actually, if you pickpocket that uh, that briar heart, um, oh, nice loot. If you pickpocket that briar heart um, without him seeing it, uh, you will kill him instantly. So that's a cool trick for uh, anyone who's back in. Uh, s sneak and pickpocket it's, um, and it's uh, quite useful so uh, yeah try that out so let's see if we can do anything with the map no let's see where's my note uh, so we don't get a quest from that um, let's see what we can find in here Nothing in particular. A healing potion. Deer hide. Um, I guess nothing more. So let's check the chest. And yeah, we'll take it all. Yep. So let's see. That's where we're where we are supposed to go. So let's move in. And I think I've been to this place. Um, there's some trap at the beginning, and it's uh, not long at all. So uh, I'm hoping this won't take long. So let's see here. Yep, I see a chip wire actually behind me. So I'm just gonna activate that. Spikes. Nothing too dangerous. Oh, there's a guy there. Let's bash him. Get some. Get some uh, blocking skills. Block skill, I guess. Um, because yeah, when you bash, you do get uh, block skills. So why shouldn't I? So let's see. I think there is pressure plate somewhere right there which activates one of these still nothing too dangerous quite easy to avoid so. but I think we're gonna try something a bit sneakier let's see that's a hay, hay graven so let's shoot at that guy they probably won't find me here so I'll just kill his guards, I guess, and 
Let me move in. Oh, come on. Stop moving when I shoot. Come here. Come here. Well, at least I didn't sneak. That's a more tree, too. Here we go. That's one guy. And there's someone shouting in my house, so I hope you guys don't hear that. Because uh, I find it annoying. Yeah, let's see. Let's get up there and see what we can do. There we go. He flew like... I don't even know. Okay, so this guy has quite a lot of health. Let's get a uh, resist cold potion. And we have 70%. That's good enough. And no stamina, so let's see. If powers, yep. Let's favorite that. So um, this, uh, the Red Guard power, I think it's the absolute best, uh, like, racial power. Maybe the hist skin of the Argonians could compete with it, but, I mean, it's just, it's just fantastic. You could kill, yeah, about anything with it without them doing, able to do anything. And uh, oh, let's see if I can remember how to open this door. Um, yeah, you could kill almost anything with it uh, without them even even being able to damage you. So it's sweet, and I quite like it. So I think that pressure plate goes to the door. So let's take the bolt, put it on it, like that. And it should be open. I think there's a door here too with some treasures in it. So let's try to unlock it. No. Oh crap. Yep. Yeah. Somewhere around here. There we go. <coughs> Nothing too difficult. Um, so let's see what's in here. Oh, level up. Sweet. Mm, let's go for health. Um. Let's see, what can I take? One handed, nothing there. I guess I could take the block perk, but to be honest, I don't use it too much. But I do want the. I haven't tried it with a 5 times damage, and the disarming bash I know is good. But I don't know, let's see. Enchanting or alchemy. Yeah, we'll take the shield bash. It's funnier that way. We can always take the ultimate uh, shit later. But we'll take the power bash for now. So let's see. Mana Dire and Armor. Don't want that. Or maybe we do actually. Come here. Let's see what you have. Hmm. I guess you could use that. It's handy. So. I'm not sure, to be honest. Yeah. Screw that. I thought it was light armor first, but I guess it's not. Uh, did I have that quest? Or yeah, there it activated. Sweet, sweet. And what more? No, nothing, nothing. And the chest. Let's see if we can unlock this without breaking any picks. I was about to say, but I guess not. I guess not. Um, yeah. I think it's somewhere around here. Yep. Correct, correct. Another... Oh, crap. Oh, that's... Some quite nice boots, to be honest. I'll give those to you. I th think I have the... Enchantment thing. Um, the enchantment, uh, like... <laughs> I don't even know what's, what it's called. I, I have the Frost Enchantment, so I'm not gonna bother. And to be honest, I should use that amulet and see if... Yep, we're good. 
so I think we cleared the dungeon uh, we didn't check up here but I don't think there's too much in here maybe there's some somewhere. Nope, nothing. Nope, nothing at all. And that's the end of the caves, so we're gonna loot this way. Oh, come on, move. Uh, let's get that. We could sell it. Guess we could take that too. Loot the chest. Come on, sell again. Hmm, okay. Some like a magic and night shield, some gems, nothing too good in here. Some soul gems, but I don't think there's any souls in them, so yeah, not too useful. And you have those fancy boots. Did she quit them? I hope she did. Oops. Yep, we give them back to you. Uh, nope, she doesn't equip them, so I'll just take that back from you. Let's see, apparel, we will. Oh, we can't drop from here. Oh, crap. Um, although she could take those. And she could take those. Yeah, that's about it. And. I will go to a town and I will sell and we will figure out something else to do and I'll see you later. Okay, welcome back broskies and we're ha here at Dustman Cairn. Cairn? I have no idea how to pronounce that. Um, and I'm just here fighting some skeletons that showed up. I'm probably m messing with something some graves, I guess, <laughs> obviously. And yeah, I wonder. I wonder if there's anything of value here. Um, I had to leave my own companion at home because uh, uh, I'm joining Farkas on a mission. So, oh yeah, oof, lucky. I was about to heal. Um, so. Uh, if I would have taken her, or oh really, Master? Okay, so uh, let's finish talking and then I'll talk a bit about this. Um, I had to leave my companion at home, I guess, because otherwise, if I would have gone here and Farkas would have joined me, then I would have uh, have had to pay um, had to pay her again, 500 coins, and I don't really want that, so I left her back at Whiterun and. Now she's free to hire again. But moving on, we're gonna unlock this chest and I'm gonna show you something a bit sneaky that you can do. Um, so sometimes the sweet spot, I guess you could call it, is at the top and you could find it if you're lucky. If you don't wanna look for a very long time, then you could just do this because every time you exit the lock it resets, see, there you go let's see if it's... ah, close um, okay, so I guess it's the other way Oop, maybe not, let's see if I can be a bit more careful here we go um, so I don't think that's... I didn't waste too much of uh, my lockpicks there and I unlocked it rather quick so that's a um, rather great tip for you if you're uh, if you find that you're struggling with the master locks and yeah you could easily waste like a hundred lockpicks on a master lock if you if you try to find it and haven't spent any perks uh, in the uh, pickpocket uh, tree so let's see if there is any loose loot some any moss. But I don't see anything more. So I guess we'll go on for about fifteen minutes more. Um and we'll start with the dungeon and we'll continue with it the next time, unless we clear it in under fifteen minutes, but I seriously doubt it. 
There we go. There's Captain Retard. And these guys are generally rather dumb when it comes to AI, at least the last time he was when I did it quest did this quest. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. I'm hoping we will be fine. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure if I remember this dungeon really. But I yeah. That was what I was about to say. Come on. Get me through. Um, oh crap, there's quite a lot of... Hmm, maybe we should use a resist cold potion. Oh great, out of stamina. That's not good. Mm. Let's pop a few potions and these maybe and some stamina potions. And then oh, shut oh, come on, I'm stuck in the corner. There we go, one down. Some more potions. Luckily I have used my trick to get a few more. And remember, it's not a glitch that you can do indefinitely. You still have to pay for them. Uh, you still waste money, so it's uh, it's not really a game-breaking glitch. Uh, you could just wait like 48 hours between every visit. But um, as I said, I don't. That's not like why I play games to waste, uh, stand in a uh, shop and wait. Um, so I don't think there's anything wrong with using it. Uh, I know that some people like uh, says it's destroying the game and stuff like that, but really, I don't think it's it's say that big of a deal. So let's just move on here and we'll see what we can find. Let's take a look at the map so I don't get too confused. Yep. Going on. Okay, and there's. Yeah, this is the way I'm supposed to go, so. Just gonna check this. Oh, maybe not. We're not gonna shake that place out. We'll just go here. Okay, so I'm guessing. There will be, there will be spiders here. Come on. Elven boots. Oh, maybe? I wanna. Maybe I'll give them to my silly companion. Iron ingot, I'll take it. Take that too. Hmm. Yep, we'll continue for about 10 minutes. Aha, okay, now I remember this place. Um, yeah, he, he will run in for himself and will do some stupid crap. It's kind of un unexpected to be honest. Nice twist. <laughs> so let's just do what we're supposed to do. Put away our sword. Yes. Activate that lever. And we'll be trapped. Let's just hope this Cutscene isn't a cut, I don't know. I guess it's not a I guess it's not a cutscene really, but it's a cinematic part, I guess. <laughs> he wears that armor. I don't know if that's a specific armor, but it sure looks like regular steel armor to me. Yep. These guys are no match for our friend Farkas there. So let's loot them like the 
HSVR. Yep, that's good enough. No problem, bro. Come on, let's go on. The Draugr. Hmm. There we go. Okay. Uh, so let's see if we can kill off this guy. Come on here. Yep, I'm all out of stamina, so no power attacks for me. There we go. These guys were quite powerful, to be honest. Um, they're kind of the level that I expect. Rest the rest of the bombs to be, if that makes any sense. Um, like um, the rest of the playthroughs have been quite. Uh, um, the rest of my playthroughs have been a bit more difficult. So uh, this looks like it might be a trap, but I don't see any holes in a wall, or anything. So nope, not a trap. Good, good, good. Let's move on. Let's see, check the time. Yep. Okay, so I don't see anything here, so we're moving on. And this guy's probably be alive. Yep. Nothing more, that's it. Oh, that's a first key. Okay, so someone shooting at us from behind. <laughs> okay, so I guess the guy behind us is an ore. Oh, let's use um, poison. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Crap. And watch me not saving for a very long time, I promise you. I don't always die in Skyrim, but when I do, I haven't saved for <laughs> the whole dungeon. Oh, really? Um, I'll just do the this part of screen and I'll come back when I'm done. So, see you later. Okay, guys, I'm back to where I died and yeah let's make this a bit smoother this time. Let's quick save before this guy is gone. Yeah <laughs> at least get each game in session uh, you die once and you have to run like a mile and yeah you don't make the same mistake again usually. <laughs> okay so that guy killed me with one one blow essentially <laughs> uh, come on okay so yep we're okay let's get some potion going at the start here and also some poison Hmm. Can I get through? Yep. Come on. Down you go. There we go. Still no stamina. Where are the lava gods? Sorry, bro. Come on. Yeah, there you go. 
Park is badass. Okay, some crappy crap. Quite a lot of gold though. That's nice. Yep, let's see what else is there. Some drunken. Yep, sweet. And soon I'm gonna be out of carrying. Whatever carrying capacity, as you call it. So let's see, check the map. So I guess this is the way back. No, oh no, I guess it's not. Uh, Take a look in here, find another master chest, and let's use the same technique that I used recently. And let's try to do this. No. Come on now. Also, I noticed that they fixed the you could do this in like Fallout 2, uh, but your uh, like pick uh, would uh, reset. So uh, uh, you could actually do this uh, like as many times as you want without wasting a pick. So yeah, I guess it's good. It's good that they fixed it, but. Uh, uh, yeah, it's kind of annoying. This isn't the re this isn't really the funniest part of the game, in my opinion. Yeah, this ain't really going my way. Come on, come on. Exciting gameplay, huh? Yes, how? There we go. Wrong way. Okay, very close. Ah, come on. Is that right? Yeah, there we go. Finally. That took some time and it was yeah, definitely worth it. Um Okay, quite good loot I guess. Um so um that exciting gameplay will have to end the episode and the next time we'll finish this stupid dungeon and yeah, I'll see you then. So I hope you enjoyed this and bye.